after 12th grade what changed my life was a thiel fellowship mm. so peter thiel is a founder of paypal early investor in facebook how does a 12th grader know about who peter thiel is mm. rebel without a cause 50000 dollars na 100000 dollars 100000 dollars right to tab 71 ka hota tha rupee to 71 lakh rupaye big deal right now how does a 12th grader get to know even about peter thiel so rebel without a cause hai to saal bhar koi movie nahi dekhi but jab कुछ इंटर्नशिप स्टाइपेंट से पैसे बचे उससे सोशल नेटवर्क मूवी देखने गए इन दैट देर इज दिस पर्सन कॉल्ड पीटर थी गिव्स द फर्स्ट हंड्रेड थाउजेंड डॉलर चेक सो नेक्स्ट टाइम गो टू साइबर कैट इज दैट वर्क जस्ट फॉर पीपल हु आर वाचिंग एंड इंटरेस्टेड नॉट जस्ट थील फेलोशिप बट एनीथिंग सिमिलर दैट दे लाइक टू अप्लाई फॉर हाउ डज वन फाइंड आउट वेर दीज स्कॉलरशिप आर एंड अप्लाई फॉर दैम लुक आई फाउंड इट थ्रू सरिंडिटी but i will give a few examples that i am aware of and mm. some of the things that i am also doing as mm. an outcome so thiel fellowship is one which is a program started by peter thiel mm. where he gives 100000 dollars mm-hmm. to 20 people earlier it used to be age limitation under the age of 20 acceptance rates are lower than ivy leagues but there's one condition you have to stop out of college right if you're in college if you're in college <laughs> i was not in college so it was easier mm. and the thesis behind it the contract's first line says we never let university interfere with education mm. so education is everywhere mm. including the wtf podcast mm. um but you don't have to go to university for it but university is one of the sources of it you can also pursue education there so um i was a thiel fellow but there are other thiel fellows like the founder of ethereum is a thiel fellow which is a cryptocurrency founder of figma figma is a design tool very popular yeah. over the years so a bunch of these people who are mm. exceptionally successful came mm. to the fellowship and everybody has very similar backgrounds right mm. young people they were rebel without a cause wanted to make a positive difference but coming back thiel fellowship is one in india there is something called the young india foundation uh, young india fellowship mm. very popular yi fellowship i think mm. it's called it's very popular great uh, similar impact. not similar it's mm. very different mm. uh, but again something that allows young people to be able to pursue their aspirations but this one i think only invites graduates post uh, undergrad so basically after that if you want to sort of be a part of the fellowship i think something very different is teach for india i think that's another way of making sure basically what are the communities where you can find people yeah. who are slightly rebellious yeah. who are trying to do something new in life who are creative who want to do something new it may have been art for you it may have been um, being in uh, you know uh, the company of inditex and and their uh, you know ecosystem so i think fundamentally just finding people around you mm. that's education act ha huh, that's education right you learn from them and it also allows you to get it in any university you, you don't get it in any university so i think that's the third one i am doing something with something that's called the narupa fellowship it started mm. by the drukpa uh, of ladakh again of course uh, the person who's involved between ashoka university narupa harappa is all the same so you ashish know, uh, Ashish and this uh, other person, mm. Pramod Sena, is the uh, person who's involved, and I think a similar fellowship. Mm. And what I have done with them is started a Naropa Ritesh fellowship, where we basically these are mostly hilly terrain kids, gotten out of college, want to do something new. Mm. So I give them equity free, debt free grants mm. because the Thiel fellowship changed my life. So mm. I thought, can I help make difference? Same with the Zepto kids. They got a forty lakh grant. They built Zepto on the back of that. Really? Yeah. Was that the game changer after twelve? Thiel. Thiel fellowship was a game changer. I think that changed my life. Were you like a great student up until that point, like first rank types? Not first rank. I think third, fourth, second to fourth rank in my until tenth grade. Same thing. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, but eleventh, twelfth grade, not so much. No. Why? Uh, because um, so I think until tenth grade I was in Raigda. Hmm. Post tenth grade, most kids go outside for education, right? Uh, so my elder three siblings, one went to. um i think uh, other o- towns in odisha only bigger towns um because in our town the only way to get that was one college and th- that wasn't like most preferred route mm. but parents had some savings because elder three siblings most of them got one of their degrees through uh, uh, what is called scholarship mm. so parents had some savings so i said rebel hai so i want to go to kota rajasthan mm. kota is r- much more expensive to send a child to then that of somewhere in odisha right mm. because you have to send uh, uh, three day trains both sides so you are the kota factory i'm i'm a part of the kota factory production so during those two years 
I used to sort of, um, uh, you know, intern in small companies and so on. While of course education, education, I was not the first second ranker, I was still reasonably good ranker. So I was not like I was terrible uh, in terms of impact. So parents were generally comfortable. So I was not the quota got top kids, I was medium. So I did all right. So 12th grade ke beach mein hi, around right after 12th grade, which is 6 months, that is when I applied for the TL fellowship and became a TL fellow. Um, the first time I got a call, so I applied uh, because I heard about the Peter Thiel. Where do you apply this? I, I'm not, where is this Thiel fellow? You apply online. Online. You apply online. And it's just digi online class? Digital application. No, what no, it's not a class. What do you have to submit when you make the application? It's just a bunch of questions. Bunch of qu about like, what business do you want to build? What did you say? Oyo? I didn't call it Oyo then, but I co but effectively the idea was the Oyo idea, which I uh, proposed. The accommodation with some standardization that we can provide. Um, I think fundamentally post those questions, there was no other Asian resident who had become a fellow before me. So I gave myself 0% chance to become a fellow, but I enjoyed the questions. So I answered them. Then interview started. So there were telephone interviews. So the product head of Twitter will get on an interview with you. So for a 12th grader, to be on an interview with people like those was a big deal. And I would do it like on a feature phone of one of the friends, Barsati friends who was staying next to me. One day I get this call, which is you're among the top 40 candidates selected and we'll fly you to the US and you can pitch and 20 would get selected post the pitch. I was like so excited about it. The reason was not because I thought I'll become a TL fellow. I still give myself 0% chance. It was my first flight and international flight trip I would ever get for free, somebody else was paying for it. Mm -hmm. So I was so happy to go to the US, that I thought life is made, mm -hmm. right? So, but again, coming back to how parents were uh, helpful, I got like a few days. Mm -hmm. In that period, mom got the passport made. I mm -hmm. didn't have a passport. Mm -hmm. right? For US visa, I didn't know it was so hard. And yeah. I, and ye, this is an example of why I believe that genuinely I am lucky. Mm -hmm. So I was told, biometric karna hai, or ja ke ek letter, unke tar, they'll send a letter, you give the letter, you get the visa. And you have to go to Delhi or Bombay. Or no, China. I was in Delhi only. So it was even easier. So I got when biometric done. Next day was the interview. Mm. Now interview, I thought that letter they ke stamp mil jata hai. So I basically was wearing shorts, had my hair all over. And I reached the US embassy. And I see people are wearing jackets, ties, have big books, interviewing each other. Mm. So I thought maybe they have come here for some job interview, some different work. My work is different. <laughs> <laughs> That's the level of coming to mm. self-confidence, mm. very self-confident. Mm. I reached the in interview lady and right like as, as I get closer in line, if you look at USMC, it looks like it So bahar se I thought you were different. But under me, reaching the counter, we were all in the same counter path. So I'm starting to feel that something different, but I was still convincing myself that yes, I'm making your hair. Peter Thiel has given me a letter. Mm. In my mind, I thought that, you know, it must like the visa will be given immediately. So the lady asks, what's your purpose of visit to the US? So I say, I want to drop out by becoming a TL fellow. She listens drop out and in her mind goes, this guy is going to go to the gas station. <laughs> Next, <laughs> that's his plan. <laughs> and weirdly, he's being honest about it also. <laughs> I only learned this later because then she says, uh, do you have uh, like, if that's the purpose of visit, is there an education also you want to pursue? Mm. I say, yes, TL fellowship can be considered as education. Mm. So she said, do you have any documentation for it? Mm. I said, there's this letter. Mm. So she said, uh, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like we can give you the visa, but we can't also return you our, the passport. So typically, if they reject the visa, they give you back the passport. Mm. So I said, you can't reject the visa first off. And second, my flight is day after tomorrow. Mm. So to return the passport to me anyway. Mm. She says, unfortunately, that's not how it works. And shuts down the window. I came back home. I cried like crazy because I thought that mm. US zindagi mein shayad ekhi bar jane ka mokka milta because mm. aise to kuch honne nahi wala tha. Mm. Aur seekhne ka bada dil tha mujhe. And before that, I had cold emailed so many people. I had cold emailed like 100 people saying that I want to come see like your office or so on. Like I had cold emailed, God bless him, Tony Shea of Zappos and so on saying ki mujhe aakar ke aapka office mm. dekhna hai. So anyway, long story short, mm. um, you know, uh, I wrote to the TL fellowship as well saying that they didn't give me the visa. Can you write a letter to them so that you, there's some credibility? They wrote a letter and the embassy was nice to later give me the visa. 
I got into the flight next day. Even the flight was a weird thing. I had a Lufthansa flight. The Lufthansa flight got cancelled. Mm. The fellowship was nice to book a British Airways right after. Mm. So I think just fundamentally for me, I feel like this long story is just to say that mm. anything could have gone wrong in this. Mm. The visa could not have come. Mm. The flight would not have, uh, 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 you know, happened. Something could have gone wrong. So in life, we forget when we reach to this point. Mm. There were probably two hundred things that had to go right, and if that one thing did not go right, mm. you'd probably be in a very different place. Hi, I'm Nikhil Kamath. I'd love to know what you thought of the episode. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.